You got 17, you got 20, you're bluffing. Take him to the morgue. 21, blackjack. Uh, that bird makes the ninth today. Twice. Who bet on nine? I did. Pay me. Don't be so hasty, laddie. The sunset gun hasn't shown it yet. Got a lot next time. I'll bet a dollar there's ten more to get by this time tomorrow night. I'll still bet on eight. And me for good old number seven. Boy, won't it be a lucky day whenever they do whittle that deathless down to only seven. Own base hospital dated June 7, 1905. Never mind that. What comes after martial law imperative? It is folly to attempt any further construction work on the canal until the yellow fever has been licked. The experience of the French should offer conclusive proof. They spent $260 million and lost 25,000 lives. Yeah. The present epidemic is being fought along the lines proved by Dr. Reed in Havana. But unfortunately, the men believe we're trying to wipe out the disease by killing every one that has it. They can't fool me. I saw them shoot down whole herds of cattle to get rid of the hoof and mouth disease. That's what they're going to do to us. We're nothing but cattle. We've got to get out of here. We must get out of here. We've got to get out of here. Absolutely imperative that we prevent the escape of any carrier of the disease from this quarantine area. Are you going to stay and be murdered? Are you going to follow me and make a bust for freedom? What's to stop us busting through them screens? Sure, they got soldiers outside. Sure, they'll shoot some of us. But they won't shoot all of us. All of us will live, live to get back home, home, back home. Come, come on, come on, come. Come on. Quiet down. Back to your beds, everybody. Quiet down. Back to your beds. We've got to get that gun. What's going on here? I'll move from you and you're dead, you dirty butcher. Look for the guard. How did the wind swing? All of you. Let that man up. Yes. Please take these guns. Is that the man who shot you? Yes. Kramer. Not responsible, though. Fever. Driving them crazy. But 
that man under restraint. These four men disarmed him, sir. With any possible loss of life suggest suitable recognition. Don't worry about that. You get to the surgery. I'll pull that slug myself. Yes, sir. Any of you men been non-commissioned officers? I was a corporal once, sir, but I got busted. Couldn't stand the prosperity. Give them anything they want. When they're out, have them report to me personally. Yes, sir. There it is, Master Little 38. Looks like a horse and wagon coming out. Where is that infernal wreck? Kill yourself with that stuff in your condition? Kill me with whiskey? What talk have you? A book keeps a doctor away. Hey, he's a good guy. Let's give him a drink. Why not? We ain't paying for it. We have a wee drink, No, thanks. single human being will leave this zone until the danger of spreading the fever is over. Oh, so you think so, do you? I know so. Send for the colonel at once. Sorry, sir, not permitted to take orders from a civilian. I, a civilian? I'm a United States senator, sir. The Senate is not yet a branch of the military service. It's about time you were here. Where have you been? Didn't you get my note? Can you? Death list, new cases. 25 dead, 80 new cases. What's this? Dr. Harper dead? Last night, sir. Yesterday, Lewis. Now, Harper. I'm addressing you, sir. Yes, of course. I'll be through with these papers in a minute. You pay attention to me first. There's a steamer arrived last night, sailing this morning. Yes, I know. I was all packed, ready at the gate, when your men refused to let me pass. Refused me. Naturally. 
Oh, stop fooling with those papers and pay attention. Why? You want to leave? I won't let you. Nothing to discuss. Here are the reports for Washington. Let the steamer clear. I want to send a message on that steamer to the president. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Captain. There's enough hysteria in Washington about this yellow fever panic without adding your fleet. That settles it. I stand on my senatorial rights. I'm going to Washington on that boat, and you can't stop me. Go ahead. Only I warn you that the sentries at the gate will call halt three times and then shoot. Listen. Listen, Colonel, be human, can't you? I've simply got to get out of here. It isn't only for my sake. It's for Gloria's. She's to be married this season, and, well, everything depends on our getting out of here. Oh, Paul, for heaven's sake, let him have his way. We haven't descended to begging yet. We can't possibly be carrying any infection. We've both got clean bills of health. We've both been vaccinated. There is as yet no antitoxin for yellow fever. The doctor who gave you your clean bills of health died last night of yellow death. Colonel, Colonel, I'll, I'll give you anything you ask. If you just let us out of this death trap. No. But you're condemning us to death. Possibly. It's murder. It's a few human lives against hundreds of thousands. Isn't it better that a few of us should die rather than start another worldwide epidemic? It's terrible. So terrible that I'll see every one of us dead before I let the scourge out upon the world. But from the doctors themselves, Diane, the disease, what hope is there for us? Only to burn itself out upon us and die for lack of fresh fuel. You can't make human flesh and blood submit to so ghastly a program. We once had a fort off this coast. Yellow Jack struck. All communications cut off. Nobody was allowed near, except one boatload of doctors. When we went back a month later, we... But the flag was still flying. It has been done before, Senator. We may have to do it again. This on my worst enemy. In this fort you spoke of, did the doctors die too? Everyone. They expected to. Do you mean the doctors will even come here to be locked in this death zone? To die with us? In the slender hope that they may stumble on the million to one chance of discovering a cure? There's your answer. Professor, 
In your book on tropical disease, you certainly prove beyond question that a person cannot have yellow fever twice. That book was written when I was young and could prove anything. Dr. Stern's experience in Africa illustrates my conviction precisely. <laughs> when I was with the Belgian Commission in the Congo, I thought what I thought was anemia for three years before I found out that the trouble was really hookworm. We know only too well what we have here, yellowjack. Precisely. But who knows what yellowjack is? I've studied tropical medicine for 30 years, and I haven't the foggiest idea of what causes the disease. Nor have we. All we know is that one certain mosquito, from there on, we have to feel our way. You can't get free of that. What is it, Dr. Nuggy? I think most wise. Sometimes blind man feels more truth with hands than wise man sees with eyes. <laughs> Sounds better in Japanese. Say like this, for every hour is costing us human lives, we've got to get in and fight with whatever weapons we can find. Colonel, you did a great job in Havana. Nailed the guilt for Yellow Jack right on old Mr. Mosquito himself. Just a moment. It is the consensus of opinion of our board of inquiry that this mosquito theory is without foundation. This is Senator Blank. Thank you. I want it clearly understood by all that I forbid any repetition of that ghastly, inhuman, ghoulish work of human vivisection, such as was performed during that unspeakable Cuban episode. That wasn't vivisection. The men volunteered heroically, gave their lives for the salvation of humanity. Silence. I state once and for all, I shall charge any person involved in the use of human beings as guinea pigs for medical experiment with the crime of murder. Aren't you the man who had Dr. Reed and the rest of us recalled from Havana? I am. And there'll be more recalling done as soon as I establish contact with Washington. Come, Gloria. Don't mind, Daddy. It's just his way. Besides, since we're all being locked in here together, there's no use being bad friends. I'll be expecting you all for lunch. Goodbye. Well, now to business. Now here is the canal phone. 20 by 50 miles of steaming junk. Three medical groups such as yours are in the field already. Here, here, and here. You will be located in this area. Meanwhile, the army will cover the entire zone with oil to kill the mosquito. What, 20 by 50 miles? Sure, there's no job there. Each time it rains. Away goes all your oil. Yes, but on goes more. If you can keep down the mosquitoes, and we can hold the disease somewhere within bounds. Get it? Both ends against the middle. Kill the carrier, and find the disease. Keep that up long enough, and Yellow Jack will disappear from the face of the earth. Obliterate it. Done forever. That's the plan exactly. Extermination of Yellow Jack for all time. For once, I'm ashamed that I'm single. How proud my grandchildren could be of someone who played just a tiny part in a victory like that. How little and stupid. Seems everything else in the world is built. My honorable ancestors looked down and saw so, done it yes you get your army in the field keep down the mosquito and by jove there's a jolly good chance you realize this is no safe job some of us may die excuse me there go charcoal we eat first have funeral sermon after thank you <laughs> oh, all right to be terribly lonesome. I hate it here. Better stay where you're well off. We're going to a very tough spot. 
It used to be the worst fever district in the entire zone. Glad I brought plenty of whiskey. If we cannot make it safe for the men to work there, the canal cannot go through. We'll never go through anyway. When I get to Washington and tell what I know, the thing will be dropped instantly. Then I bless the quarantine that keeps you here. Uh, Banzai. Everything's ready. This is Sergeant Burke, who will take charge of the military branch. One of you will have to assume technical leadership of your own division. Fontaine, will you take charge? Medically, yes. But if it means papers and the reports and the red tape, no. How about you, Murray? Just keep close records and sending daily reports. I'll do it. I'm used to it. Well, we may as well go. This is your mule, Dr. Stern. I've been told that your American mules will not go unless you swear at them. Can you tell me a very effective swear word? Oh, gosh, I, I can, but I can't. Oh, I see. Hello, I'm so sorry, I'm sick of your mouth. Gosh. Right here, Doctor. All right. myself saw hundreds die here. I'm awfully tired. Maria, please fix me a bath. Elena, prepare a bath for Dr. Stern. Thank you. Right. Please, please don't 
don't send me away. All right. Thank you. Thank you. the fire under your tongue. Still lives. It takes many years to get used to it. But it is the secret of keeping healthy in hot countries. Too high a price for health. I'll stick to whiskey. May I present Senator Blank and his daughter Gloria? How do you do? This is Father. You must be hungry. Will you honor my poor table? Delighted, Gloria, please. Uh, Senator? You came through a storm, no? Yes, indeed, we did. <laughs> Your daily reports show no fever in this district, so. I forced the colonel to let us out of that death trap and come down. Strange he should let anyone from an infected district into a healthy one. I teased him into it. Father had a bad attack. Bad? I'm that close to dying. Or oh, too bad. Oh. So the colonel finally relented and let us come on my account. I feel perfectly safe with you. I don't know about that. This might be the worst place of all if an epidemic ever gets started. Oh, I risk that. In the meanwhile, we can have some pleasant times like we had at the base. I brought one of those miraculous and some books and some wine. And we can have all sorts of good times while serving out our time in quarantine. Before the good times start, I suggest that all these bountiful gifts get off the course. They must be exposed to cyanide fumes for 12 hours. And a very thorough antiseptic bath for you is very much in order. Come, my dear. I'll help you. But I haven't had dinner. Right. We'll dine together after your bath. Must I? I'm afraid so. We can't risk bringing in any germs. Dr. Stern will help you. Just show me the bath. I'm capable of bathing myself. Perhaps I feel better once I see you in the bath. I take honor of the senator to try the bath. Long soap in hot bichloride. Kill all the bugs from Panama. They were first. Hmm. Stewed tomatoes. Oh, I'm very fond of them. No, 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 senator. Salute the Oh, look here. I'm tired of being forced by everybody. From a 
colonel down to the sentries. I'd just like to see a servant tell me what to do. I could only get out where I could do some work. Oh, it's never wishing that. We've appealed to the Colonel, and his only word is to stay here and keep our white spot white. When I came here, I thought I was going to do some work. If I had no gone on to Ecuador, where they have a lovely epidemic. One strain of the fever mosquito. We keep breeding them under sterile conditions until we breed all the disease out of them. What for? Make absolutely sure just what they do or do not transmit. A lot of interesting work to be done in that direction. But we have to have stock. These are the eggs of the tiger mosquito, the Edes aegypti that carries the yellow fever. Watch that egg on the right. See it hatch? Those are the wigglers, second stage. They breathe through their tails. See, they have to come to the surface for air. Oh, I've seen witches like that in systems back home. <laughs> Not like these you have. Your mosquitoes just bite. These commit murder. That strain of mosquito has killed more men than all the wars put together. Fortunately, a film of oil over the water makes a tough surface that makes it impossible for them to get to the air. So that's why all those men were out spraying oil on the water. Exactly. Now, there's another stage. That's where the pupae change into mosquitoes. Oh, wonderful. See those stripes on his legs? That's where he gets the name of Tiger. Or she, rather. It's only the lady that bites. <laughs> she flies in, feeds, repays you with death. Murray! Murray! It's happened! What? Across the plaza, right under our very noses. One of the oil spreaders. What breathe? What happened? Thank you. Yellow fever. You stay in this house behind the screen, understand? Tell your father the same. That's it. Sure as shooting. Gums are beginning to bleed beautifully. Bert. Sergeant Bert. Get that man to the screen house immediately. Call in every worker. Come on, Mr. Fellows. Take this man out. Take him out. Just like a curse. Why did I ever come to Panama? Here's one. Yep, that's it. Take him in, Mark. Yes. No, 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 no. Steady, man, it's for your own good. Come along, you. No, no, that's why they kill you. 
Don't let him get to the jungle. Bert, get that man. Halt. 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 Mitch, take these two men. Pick that fellow up and carry him to the screenhouse. Right. Come on. You Bert, just seen what happened when orders gets disobeyed. Anybody else tries it, gets the same thing. Only next time I shoot to kill. Savvy? The war is to surround the enemy and close in. That is easy to say. But with only four men and ourselves. You forget the army. Bert. Yes, sir. This is our village. Completely surrounded by jungle. Thick, dense. Only a few trails. That's fine, sir. Tell the colonel I want a circle of workmen thrown around here and cut down the jungle. That'll take over a thousand men. Order a thousand men in a battle. Tell the colonel I want the belt cut clean. Not a leaf, not a blade of grass, not a puddle of water, nothing but bare ground covered with oil. And a night and day guard to see that no living creature, beast, insect, or human gets out of that area. Down to here. The peak eight days ago was here. At this rate of decline, we shall have no more new cases in three days. As soon as we discharge this jolly crew, the entire district will be amused. Any new death? No. We are holding our own. Of course, catching them at the first sign of fever has kept our deathness way down.
he thinks it's a death trap. If these patients get out of here now, it'll be just too bad. You're telling me? Listen, Doc, I've been through all this before. You are a good son of the church, Sergeant Porter. Sure, and haven't I been to Mass every Sunday since I come here? Then you must not fire on my people. Would you let loose the plague out on the world? Would you now, Father? We must use reason, not force. Pedro, here. All right, then. Let him through. like little children. They believe only what they see. This man, he says your little Japanese gentleman is a devil who performs black magic. They demand that I shall destroy the power of your Mr. Nogi, or they will refuse to believe any longer in the supreme power of the church. <laughs> Done, they say they will kill us all, including me. Well, Nogi, ready to give up your life for General Yellowjack? Excuse me. Prefer not, thank you. out here and let me whip you to show these simple children that my magic is as stronger than yours. Now, no, get off of the old shirt. Come on. I have science. What? <laughs> it is not funny. In Africa, we lost a whole mission. No one with the brains of that priest could show us a way to satisfy the superstitions of those savages. I yell. Thank you. Rather, louder the better. Shut up. If they think it is a joke, we are in for it. Right. Well, goodbye, old chap. Have a good cry. Incense 
What of it? Notice of the Japanese nobility. He's praying to his ancestors, asking their forgiveness for dishonoring their noble blood. For him to submit to a whipping at the hands of a foreigner, a thousand times worse than death in his code. But he did it to save us. I could kick myself for laughing at the poor little thing. Oh, what a rotten, unsporty thing to do. There is no sacrifice that science will not demand of her servant. Everybody hears
I was young, I inoculated myself with yellow fever, deliberately, so that when I was at work in jungles, I would not have to stop for sickness. After a dozen years of exposure, I wrote my book to prove that you can't have yellow fever twice. And now, look at Mario Hello. Just rest. Today, two minutes. I begin with a very long way. I talk while I can. Nonsense, you fool, Drew. Never try to fool a doctor with his own feet. I know. Sir. minutes more. So much to learn. So little time to live. All my lifetime I searched for someone to experiment with who had this fever twice. And when I find him, he is myself dying. The only one in all the world I can study and observe and learn the secret from. Ah, Faith, you played a great joke this time. Larry, I have my question on to you. Where does the disease live? in the long years between the attacks of his bird. It does not die. It lives. Nourished in some living body, it does not yet attack. That body, a carrier of death, he does not even know an innocent murderer of countless millions nursing the seeds of death until the time he arrived for them to hear. Oh,
express outbreak originated among us. Dr. Fontaine did not leave the house after the mosquitoes were released. One of us is a carrier. And that means that none of us can leave this until it's been proven by exhaustive experiment just who the carrier is. Right, Al. So let's get on with it. First, we'll get a sterile area. And then dinner is served for the mosquitoes. There. They don't seem to be hungry. There they go. That's better. <laughs> the fundamental law of all nations forbids that any man shall be forced to risk life or limb in any undertaking. I stand upon that right. I'm the leader of this work and I demand your compliance. You can't force any man to become a human guinea pig. You needn't bother to bully me. All right? Yes. But when these little chaps are finished, I think I'll go and dash myself up against the whiskey. Don't worry about us, Doctor. We're not afraid. Up the brasso. Uh, Doctor Nogi, will you take care of us, please? There's nothing to be afraid of, Father. These mosquitoes are absolutely harmless. In fact, our hope is that the Infected person will sicken the mosquito. <laughs> you scientists are so childishly innocent. How could I be afraid? Even if they were loaded with poison, could they hurt me? Unless God willed it so? What time is it, Nogi? Seven minutes after 4 a.m. Well, I know it's a.m. Well, about time those mosquitoes were showing symptoms if they're going to. Honorable Senator Skeeter, still cheaper, wants more food. Honorable Dr. Travis Skeeter, she plenty lively, wants to get out on the play. Oh, 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 oh. Who's this? Wouldn't it have to be? Innocent carrier. Miss Gloria. So much too bad. The picture of radiant health beyond suspicion. Very clever fellow. Particularly clever to choose such a disguise. Now we know. She shall not escape, no? We're scientists. You ready for the next step? What do you do? Complete the cycle, of course. I have to prove that the bite of this mosquito can transmit yellow fever to an immune person like myself. I'm also immune. Had the yellow jack also bad three years ago. Excuse me. I think. Oh, thanks, Nogi. But if I'm the leader, I've got to go first. Excuse please. No. Who am I? Only a Japanese assistant. But I mean nothing. What do you mean? You. More big discoveries. Let me die. Japanese gentlemen die easy because sad, because want to make an enemy ashamed, because insult. Dying means nothing. Oh, please let me die. It will make my honorable ancestors so happy. Oh, oh.
you know you've jeopardized your chances by letting it run like this? Now, come on. No. No. I've got to think. You've thought enough. Just for me to do the thinking now. Five minutes won't make much difference one way or the other. Give me five minutes, only five. How's Gloria? Chipper as a lark. But old Yellowbelly, I beg his pardon, your brave senator has applied to the colonel himself to get him out of your clutches. There's an escort coming from the base to take them away tonight. They can't go. They mustn't leave this place. Now, no excitement, please. That girl must not leave this place. Now, somebody, you cannot do that. You're wrong like this in this country. She'll go on spreading death as long as she lives. Yes, yes, we know. It will all be taken care of. Just come with us. Nogi! Nogi! Where are you? You go to bed, quick! Get that man away. He'll infect us all. Our daughter is the one to fear. There's no mistake about it. There's the carrier. Herself healthy, unaffected, but loaded with death. Excuse me. She right. I saw. But what can do? Oh, too bad. Yes, what can you do with her? How can you treat a healthy person? Shall we lock her up in quarantine for the rest of her life? Or shall we kill her to determine what magic element exists in her blood that harbors death without harm? The man's a maniac! I never was more sane. What can you do with her? Can she be turned loose to spread death wherever she goes? Can we let her continue her course of destruction? Answer me, you brilliant minds. What can we do with this hostess of death? There's the escort. And the colonel's with them. Now it's my turn. We'll see how far you murdering scientists get with your playing with life and death. Oh, stop it! Oh, dear. <laughs> Open the laboratory. What are you going to do? I'm going to kill death.
the meaning of this? Miss Gloria has been implanted with tissues from the dead professor. 10,000 times more powerful than any natural infection. But the disease she carries may destroy itself with its own venom. Deliberate infection. That's murder. One life against a million. Take him away. for three weeks, old man. And if it hadn't been for Dr. Stern's courage, we should have lost you. That's a brave lady. Put the blood from her own veins into your body to keep you alive. You were as good as dead anyway, so I thought transfusion might be worth a try. If all your children turned out to be old maid, you know where to place the blame. <laughs> terribly grateful to you. I can't tell you how much. You can trust me to make it right. She's really cured. Oh, yes. Yeah. I tried other mosquitoes on me. She no longer carry her. It is all burnt out. You've made history. Nothing can stop the men from completing the canal now. Dr. Murray. You must give us an opportunity to show our gratitude. In that case, please leave my patient alone, so that he may rest. Out, all of you. Quite right, Dr. Stern. Come on, sir. So you gave me transfusion. makes a sort of blood relative. I wouldn't joke about it. You were so close to death, even Dr. Travis gave you up. And you know the English are the last to quit in any fight. The last. Except you. Thanks for giving me back my life. Dr. Stern, you're an angel. An angel in white. Dr. Stern. What's your first? Good job, well done. Makes a fella feel useful. Satisfactory sort of feeling, eh? What chances we took. What chances you took? Guess what? What? Ah. Cablegram, sparkling eyes, news from home. You're going home. Your boyfriend still loves you and there's going to be a big wedding. Elementary, my dear friends. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that's all off. This is important, look. Your recommendation, Murray, for seat of tropical medicine in our institution accepted. Stop. Thanks for generous contribution. Oh, 
I say. Oh, Daddy fixed it. You're coming with us. Isn't it wonderful? Isn't it what wonderful? Novi. Okay. Yes. Pack your things, Dorothy. You're going to Washington with Murray. Isn't it splendid? You'll have a laboratory and a big staff and all the money you need and a life income. And spend and the rest of your days with a microscope and test you, checking the work done by men in the field. It's not the money we need but the rare combination of brains and courage that it takes to meet the enemy in its own stronghold and kill it in single combat. Excuse me. Banzai! Banzai is right. I sure put it over for you, Murray. <laughs> they can't say I'm of no use in the world now. sanders has been telling me about that appointment of yours, Murray. You're a lucky man. Thanks. Lucky in more ways than one. Am I right, Senator? You know how it is with these young people. Well, good luck. Together, too. So long, buddy. See that boat? Quarantine flag? That boat came to beg for doctors. Practice gets loose in Ecuador. People dying worse than here. The Black Death. That's another thing that wants licking. Oh, yes. I think so. There goes Travis. This doctor. Oh, yes. They go. They try. Black death. Dr. Murray! Murray! Where are you going? Ecuador!